What have the last 24 hours been like for you since your race? Well, um, it was really sad. It was really, really bad for me. It was a really long day for me. But, um, you know, I, I'm staying here now with my bronze medal, so I'm so happy right now. So walk me through a little bit of what happened. Obviously, we saw you looked to be on the verge of a medal. You get bumped by McLeod. You file an appeal. What happens after that? And, and how did it end up with a bronze medal around your neck? Yes, I, I, I want to appreciate all um, to my federation because they they was to start the protest after the rust yesterday. They start to with the protest. And it was really, really good. Um, I'm so happy. My federation, my federation helped me a lot. We we get this medal. And um, yes, the, the protest was really, really hard. Really hard. It was one long day for my federation. Um, I'm so happy for that. Who all did it involve? Did it involve your manager at all? Did it just the Spanish Federation? Yeah, I mean, yeah. how did it come to fruition? Yes, no, my federation was a uh, start. Uh, the, of course, my manager helped me too, but my federation was start uh, here with the brothers. And they, every time, uh, send me messages, hey, we, we all the information about the protest. So, yes, it was really nice. I'm so happy. Are you angry with Omar McLeod? Um, I'm not, not angry. Um, of course, in this moment, of course, yes, because, uh, you know, uh, no, it's the first time. No, it's the first time. Um, and in this moment, I was feeling really, really sad, really bad. But, you know, uh, I just want to continue. This is part of the life. I have my bronze medal, so I'm so happy for that. Is there anything that can be done to fix this from happening? Like, do wait lanes need to be wider? I mean, I know that's probably not going to happen, but like, it's something that's pretty much unique to the 110s and the 100 hurdles. Like, what can we do to not have this happen? Uh, I can't. I can't do nothing about this because I am one athlete too. You know, so uh, I don't know. I just, I just think um, the federation, the IAF, need to to look this situation because now it's the first time this this situation is coming really long time ago and they need to do something with, with this situation because it's impossible to run like this, you know. So we need to do something the I have the need to do something with, with this situation in the competition. How would you describe your twenty nineteen season in general? Sorry? Your twenty nineteen season, how would you describe it in general? In general, oh, this is uh, um, yes, uh, I am so happy. I'm so happy I get the I was winner the Diamond League, and uh, now one bronze medal. And I'm so happy for this this season. So, you know, I'm really, really, really happy with my coach, with my decision in my life. We all, I'm so happy. Was you think they should be able to do the appeals quicker? I mean, you didn't find out you got a medal until almost a day later. If I know what? Sorry? Don't you think they should be able to do the appeal much quicker? Like, wouldn't it have been better for you if you could have gotten your medal yesterday to the press conference in the top three? Oh, yeah, of course. I was, I was feel really sure yesterday that I can't get one medal in the competition. I, I was feel really sure about this, and I, I was... I was fight for the gold medal because I was feel really sure about me, about my perform, you know. So I was when I go start the competition, I was going for for the gold medal. I went to fight for the medals, you know. But um, when it was happened this situation, and after, you know, everybody know. What did you? What was said to you? I mean, did you speak with the other medalists about this situation, and what, if anything, did they say to you? No, we know we don't speak about this situation. You know, every athlete know about this situation because you know it's the first time. I'm not the first athlete pass for this situation. You know, have too many athletes pass for this situation, and you know, uh, I don't want to talk about this because for me it's really sad because uh, I can't understand. Yes, uh, he asked me human and every human make a mistake, but uh, in one big competition like this, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible. I, I can't believe that. If it was in one meeting or one WLE, okay, I don't say nothing bad. In one, cha in one world championship, it's really hard, you know. So, but, you know, I don't want to talk about this. Uh, it's really sad for me. Um, I want to just continue. Today they gave you the medal, right? Then they took it away and then they gave you again. Is that right? The medal? No, when they... Say you're going to get the bronze medal today? Yes, you're today. Back, yes. And they gave it to you again, is that right? No, um, I was get the, the information today. I was staying in my, in my hotel, and my federation was staying here to fight with the brothers, and they finally they called me, hey, come to the stadium because 
they the one they give you the bronze medal and was coming to the stadium and I have it. Yes. Oh, we so. heard you got it, and then we heard they took it back. And then it no, yeah, but you know, uh, I'm so happy. I want to appreciate all my federation, all to Spain for the support. So it's very nice. Thank you. Do you not prefer the situation where you can rerun the race instead? Like if there was an option of redoing the race, would you have preferred something like that? No. When in the competition, I was when I was start, I I was no, I can fight for for the gold medal, for one medal, for staying in the podium. In the podium, I was sure, pretty sure about this, you know. So, but you know, this situation with McLeod was really really sad. But you know, I just want to continue because this is part of the life. You need to continue. And that's all. Thank you. That means you accept the apology. Yeah, of course, I feel I feel upset. In this moment, I was feel upset, of course, and and more because he not say nothing face to face to me. You know, and of course, I was feel really sad in this moment. But you know, uh, now um, I have my bronze medal. I want to appreciate. My federation, and I just, I would just get this in my mind. Yes, it's really motivation. It's really the motivation for me because we have very good athletes. Uh, Holloway is amazing. Robert is amazing. You know, it's a new generation, new face for the 100 meter hurdles. So it's very nice for me. It's a big motivation for training hard, training hard. Every day, and um, it's really good. It's really good. All the best for for these guys, and um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.